hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to link a list box with your database so let's see how can we do that go to your toolbox and pick up a list box from here this one and I will drag and drop into my form and I will resize it okay now I will go to the code section of this form which is this and at the top of my code where this function is there your initialize function and all just below that I will make a new function called void fill list box and bracket and bracket closed and in here I will write the code for the list box now if you followed mm, my 10th video in which I have shown you how to link a combo box with your database and how to populate your combo box with your database I have made this fill combo function and I have written this code so just copy that same code because we are going to require the same code from here and if you don't know this code just go to the video number 10 in which I have shown you how to link your combo box with the database and so copy the whole code in between the function and just paste it in your fill list box function okay and now we will copy the name of the list box and just copy the name and instead of this line we will paste our list box name dot items dot add bracket and bracket closed and in between the brackets you will pass this function so copy this and pass it in this these brackets okay so what this code will do is it will take the names from your database and place it into the string variable and which will place when from this code this variable or string will be added into the list box so if you want to copy the code you can just copy the code this one pause the video and copy the code and now what I will do is I will just copy this fill combo function and call it inside my main function or main class where my initialize component function is there this is a default function which is called when your form starts running so just paste this function there and now when we run the program and login password and you can see the list box is populated with the values right and one more thing you can do is like when you select this uh, 
name the corresponding value for name will appear in the text boxes the same thing you can also do for list boxes so let's see how can we do that for the list boxes okay so just go to your form and select this list box and double click it this will lead us to the code for the event of this list box action perform and once again go to the form so if you following if you are following this videos i have shown you in the last video that is video number 11 i think how to do the same thing with the combo box so when you select some name all the data will come here so just double click this combo box and copy the code from the combo box whole code and go to your form and double click this list box once again and paste it there all the code will be the same just you need to change this list box from here in the query so just copy the name of your list box which is list box number 1 list box 1 and replace it in this wherever you are passing your query select star from database dot table name where name is equal to so this we have written in the last video last to last video i think so just see where i have taken the values from the combo box and showing the corresponding values it's video number 11 i think and just replace the combo box with the list box and now when you run the program give username and password correct and when you click any of the names here the corresponding name should appear here so let's see yes they are they are appearing here so in this way you can just pass the values corresponding values to the text box also so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now